Oh crap! Let me put my phone down. Just hands. <laughs> We've been doing the. Um, has anybody watched Wild Wild Country? Uh, the cult leader, like he goes around and does this. Right. Raj. <laughs> so we've been doing that around the house. <laughs> uh, yeah, that honestly, I mean, we haven't finished it yet, but I'm kind of on their side because they were just like, you know, kind of hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and then the townspeople tried to force them out of their home. I'm sure it gets a little, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they take it a little. Uh, guilty, well, to answer your question, it's definitely a crackling half and not Pop Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm just going to come out and say I'm not on the side of the cult. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear. Uh, Adam, do we need to ever talk later? Always. <laughs> uh, you know what kind no, of person who also go. cheers for, like, co- or, uh, like, cheer for Jaws? And, like... <laughs> Um, I cheer for Jaws. I always cheer for Jaws. I mean, yeah, at, at certain points. After after he su- are they submerged with like three barrels in them? I mean, come on, that was incredible. No way he goes down with three barrels. Come on. <laughs> All right. Anyways, welcome. It's Tuesday nights. Jaws talk on the gods we know. Um, tonight is the last night of our fundraiser, so. Um, I don't know where I was going to go with that, but this whole month has been pretty freaking incredible. We smashed all the goals and had to keep stretching goals and keep smashing them and stretching them again. Um, but it was amazing, and the community has just been awesome. And uh, had a wonderful cast and crew. Like, uh, we brought in all types of new GMs, new players. It was incredible um so thanks everybody who was involved in that um i'm just kind of spinning around here uh, schedule thursdays we, we've got mind of the martyr also at six o'clock uh um awesome time pacific uh, in other words <laughs> i saw that face doug uh, awesome standard time awesome standard time <laughs> and uh i think Next Tuesday, we will be having an interview. Well, Jen will be hosting an interview. Would you like to talk about that for yeah, a moment? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interview Erica, the creator of Flying Circus. And we're going to talk about, um, you know, uh, where her love of, of biplane dogfight combat comes from. And we're going to talk about, um, you know, the, the relationship between and the idea of monsters and how, you know, she really wanted to kind of question that and bring that in and also how awesome Miyazaki films are uh, and how that plays into that setting and world too. So I get to rewatch a bunch of the Miyazaki films that I watched like in college back in the 90s. Um, And that'll be awesome (laughs) in order to prepare. It's gonna be great. Awesome, awesome. Um, Outside of that, uh, our partners, sonerdware.com. They've got tons of, uh, uh, I guess, nerd appropriate things. Uh, you can find anything from like, I don't know, you can send in your own designs. You can find like funny stuff from uh, shows or an anime and whatever your heart content or whatever your heart requires. So head on over to SoNerdWear.com. It's what nerds wear and use promo code FRIENDS to get 10% off. Uh, DDMM Emporium. <laughs> Yeah, Maporium.com. <laughs> uh, head there for all your gaming needs. They've got dice, they've got minis, they've got stuff to build. Uh, I, I don't, it's not sets. Sorry, I'm brain stuck in a different place right now. But um, we'll call it mini sets. Uh, use promo code FWRD forward uh, and get 10% off there as well. Uh, does anybody have anything else to say before we jump in here? It feels so weird to be coming to the end of this charity month and like, yeah, to, I mean, we've got all sorts of other cool stuff in the works that we'll be sort of announcing over time, but we don't have 
a ton of extra things to announce right now. Oh, come to our Discord though, because now that we're done with Pride Month, we've got all sorts of community games that we're doing. Some we might stream, some we might not, but like they're just, you know, if you're on our Discord, we're gonna put it out there and you can come join us. I know we're gonna do some more Queer Heist crew and um, I'd like to do Bluebeard's Bride and yeah. So come, if you wanna play with us, uh, come to our Discord and uh, jump in. Oh yeah, Bluebeard's Bride. I forgot all about yes. that one. Yes. Um, Good job, everybody involved. That was, I know I chimed in every once in a while and when I could on the weekend, but oh my God. That's insane. <laughs> well, and, and good job on the overlays and all the work that you did. Like, oh, it was, was a, as my very much a community. <laughs> it was more than little. It was way more than little. <laughs> but yeah, it was a community effort and it was wonderful and just a really profound experience, I think. My favorite day is when we were all in chat and I think Adam was working on like one of the Twitter posts and Corey and I were doing emotes and overlays and it was just like a whole back and forth. It was like, this, this is so cute. <laughs> I want to do this forever. <laughs> Great. And then oh, and everyone, we're going to have two like drawings for, for we're going to have two drawings for found, found familiar discount codes today, too. So, all of the coffee. Yes, all of the coffee. Yeah, I think we should be signed up to win those, too. No. <laughs> uh, okay, so last we partied, y'all hung out in the Fade Wild for a little bit longer. A circus came into town, and you had a little bit of fun. You saw the circus. Um, Bruegel went skinny dipping with goldfish for some reason. Uh, Harlan got his, his chakras red. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Newt did a dance with like a bunch of pixies. And yeah, it was a, kind of a fun time all around. And we, also found was, out, we also found out Bruegel's a gin. Yes. 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 At at the uh, very end of the night, uh, Bruegel showed their true true form as a uh, as a genie. And is I that the gen two ends not one? I think it is. Yeah. Ends not oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we just pick up there. Y'all are at the at a dinner feast, and you see Bruegel's true true form, and you know they've got the kind of lavish, like they've got emeralds and jewels and like I don't want to go a big hat they're not wearing a big hat but <laughs> but they do have big big like flowing pants on I'm actually still I just finished dancing with the pixies and I'm sitting at the base of a tree a little farther away so I haven't even noticed the gin, the gin, the gin, the gin. <laughs> I haven't even noticed <laughs> Yes, it did chin or did genie? The gin. The gin. 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 I haven't even noticed the gin. I'm under a tree. Dreaming of pixies. And my pixie dress. Yeah, so what's uh what's everybody else doing at the table as as um this uh Bruegel has poly morphed in front of you? True polymorph. Yeah, there's something fishy about you. Didn't expect this, but I guess it's better than what I thought I had in mind originally. And what exactly did you have in mind, Desi? Well, considering how we met, a lot worse things could have been you know, the case, so the gin's not so bad. I mean, yeah, I can kind of do whatever. I so, if that's the case, why were you traveling with those two? And why did you decide to stay in the shackles? Oh, well, I was supposed to meet you. Well, not you specifically, but, you know, the twins. Right, the 72 times. and It makes sense, I guess. You talked to Abbott, Mother? Uh, previously. And she told you where to find us? She had mentioned that she had told you to go to the desert, and I kind of set up the rest of the dominoes and knocked them over. (laughs) 
She's grown on me so much. I know, me too. So, 72 times, you're saying the dominoes don't fall the same way every time, then? Oh, no. There's... Oh, I mean, we're all... Well, for the most part, we all have free will, so any choice you make can throw us all off the path. By chance, this time is putting myself and Tobias and Harlan add a few extra dominoes? Mm -hmm. Yes, Harlan, not killing you certainly changed things up. Interesting. Don't tell him that. Oh, I got oh, that. That, that, was, that, was one of the, uh, that was one of the things that um, Kellenvor showed Des. That yes. Harlan, because I, I wrote it in big letters. I was like, Harlan killed Desmond. <laughs> I remember. I was like, what the fuck? Man, you've been planting seeds for so long, Adam. What the hell? Yeah, that goes deep. That goes <laughs> deep. <laughs> come to the table um and i'm a little bit just a little bit out of breath and my demeanor's a little bit more relaxed um and i come to the table and i just go really you look look different what you you what what happened oh It's just like to really like hair on that's neck. A, yeah that's a really good makeover like who did your makeover did you just do it yourself or is that like a thing that you well you've lived as long as i have you pick up a few tips here and there yeah yeah that's really that's really cool i really like that i mean i like how i look or else i'd ask for help but i look okay already so i don't really need that but that was really i mean you looked fine before too i mean i'm not saying you look bad but like now you look like different and it's cool I guess is my point. Oh, thank you. You look lovely as well. Thank you. Yeah. I'll look even cooler when I get my pixie dress, though. That'll be really cool. Oh, yes. That should be done tomorrow, I think. She We're produces an apple out of thin air and takes a bite out of it. <laughs> and then just, like, chucks it over their shoulder. It hurt her teeth. It hurt her teeth. I feel her pain. I feel her pain. I am anti-biting into apples. Um, we're gonna stay till tomorrow, then, right, everybody? That's the thing we're gonna, we're gonna do. We're gonna stay. Yeah. That was the plan. Okay, and I think then, um, sometime after that, like pretty soon, we have to go to the monastery. So that would be. Um, after that. Do you mean go there from here? I think it's the next stop. Yeah. Whether we like it or not. Yeah, I agree with that. And Newt's like kind of keeping her vision narrow. Like she's looking, she's looking at everybody but Tobias, not in like a really obvious way, just, just in like a subtle sort of way. Um, we don't even really know what is going to be there. Like, we don't know if Maladir's there or not. Still, we don't know if any of the monks, you know, that helped raise us might still be there. We might see them again. Is there any way you can find out and reach back? Or maybe this one knows. Rugal? Yes. Do you know who is at the monastery? Do you do you know if it's any of the same monks that were there when when we were raised there? Well, I know that uh, that fellow with an awful haircut, Malady, is there. It's a pretty um, bad haircut. It's pretty bad. That, that haircut's pretty bad. I <laughs> know who yeah. who told him that was a good look. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. 
I don't know at all. I, but monks do weird things with their hair. I have to say like just a lot, like they really have a really bad sense of fashion. It's really bad. It was really painful growing up there because it was just, yeah, it was really awkward and ugly looking a lot. Yeah, um, which which mug came up with the look that had like the bowl cut, but then the baldness at the top? Like, why would you do that? That's... Okay, so monks aren't supposed to have sex. So maybe they, you know, made <laughs> oh. <laughs> themselves ugly on purpose. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. But, you know, it's, I mean, as far as we could tell, it worked. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess I could uh, try to reach out to their spirits. I don't know. I can see if I can find any of them. So we know if, I mean... We don't even know after all these years if they'd still be our friends, but later on I'll try, I'll try to reach out to them. Why would they stop being your friends? I've always heard distance makes the heart grow fonder. Is that not a real thing? That's just bullshit um, people say. I don't think Can't... in this case. Do you, do you want to explain why they would have a problem with us? You can, it's up to you. I'll tell if you don't want to. Uh, yeah, I might, I might leave that one to you. Um, we, we were supposed to keep Abbott Mother alive and we failed, so. And then we didn't go back. Someone was with us when we took her, right? Or someone helped us get off the island? Yeah, yeah there were a couple that did. They're still around. Or if Maladir heard about it. Anyway, and then we lost her body. So we didn't even really do the burial rites that we're supposed to do. Um, and that that's not good. So we're, you know, they, they're probably kind of mad at us. Yes. I wonder if that's why she's getting sick. If her spirit's sick from not doing the burial. Maybe, I don't know. I have no idea. What were you going to say, Brugo? Oh, I was going to say maybe that's a valid reason, but I mean, Versana is pretty capable of defending herself and shouldn't have been up to a couple of kids. She was slowly dying and what the other monk said was that Maladir was poisoning her. And somehow she wasn't able to stop it. So, wasn't as strong maybe as you think. See her face gets like very dark. Hmm. Well, if there's Sana. Oh, that's... I'm sorry, kids. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Talk to all muted. Another dollar from Black Lives Matter. Donate to Black Lives Matter. I'm going to owe a bunch at the end, but it's not going to be enough to get us to 5,000, so donate to Black Lives Matter. Um, yeah, it, you know, it sucks is kind of all that you can really say about it, right? There's just not really much else to say. It just sucks. Yeah, that... sometimes you meet your match, and sometimes you they meet their match. I guess Persana met someone stronger than her, which okay. seems unlikely, but... Okay, but then if he was stronger than her, and now we're going to go, and he's there, we're not as strong as she is, was is so what what chances do we have all this time you're doing some extra hands have extra hands and we could pro there's probably still some monks that don't agree with his bullshit you think he's going to give us time to rally them 
No. Got your disguise kit kit ready, Harlan? Oh yeah. yeah. How well would that go? I don't know. Monks can be fooled just as easy as anybody else. We we definitely fooled them a lot when we were young. So Oh, yeah, watch sure. time then. Maybe we go and we speak to those allies you still have. Nobody knows us. They only know you. So. so maybe we come up with a story for why we're there. Just, I'm pretty sure if we walk in there with the mask and the vial, it's not going to matter. But we could try. I, we could be pilgrims or something. Sounds like the dominoes are already laid out, so we're just kind of falling as they lay. Okay, so we we try the lying route because C kept relying is useful sometimes. I'm just saying sometimes it's useful. Not always a bad thing. Um, Alan's real good at it, so he can help. Well, yeah, I mean he's. I wonder if there's good at it too. I wonder if there's something we can get for the mask, something to kind of like shield the magic. Rugal? Like a lead lined box or something. Does that work? Hmm. It's me. I don't, I don't think you've tried it before. We have a bag of holding, don't we? Just take it in there. Can they detect magic if something's magical in it, though? No, they just see the bag. Right? I was going to say, they just see the bag. Rugal? What else is different? Can you tell us the different things from the other times? Um, I missed a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, difference, yes. Uh, well, you've gained a few companions. Um. This Carmichael character was not a player on the board before, so I'm very curious as why that's new. It doesn't seem like a good new. Not from what I can tell. It's not. What else? Uh, well, Verzana's dying, so that's new. These aren't good new things. These are like really bad new things, right? These are really bad new things. This is well, not you just asked for new information. I know, no, I didn't. No, I want you to. I know, no, I didn't. No, that. that's true. No, no, I wasn't asking you to do that. I want to really know what's different. Did we all like each other? What I gather, I was dead. Sorry. I look up and I glare at Harlan <laughs> as I say it. I mean, don't suck. Did Harlan say something to Kepri? If you did, I missed it. It was said publicly that that Harlan killed Desmond the, all the other times. I was just said. It oh, I heard, I thought I heard Harlan say Kepri. No, I mean, no, he said don't suck. Yeah. <laughs> no relationship to Kepri. Oh. Okay, um, cool. <laughs> did we all like each other? Dead. I don't. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about <laughs> I was talking about the three of us who actually suffered and died over and over and over again, actually. I assume so. You traveled to the ends of the world with each other to, you know, fight evil. I don't think you do that with anyone you don't like. No, if you have to, you do. So did we do that because we wanted to or because we had to? Fair. I've teamed up with a fair amount of people I've never liked. Sorry, um, I mean, it can be both, right? You have to do something and you do it willingly. But did we like each other? You met us, you could tell. You seem to be very favorable to one another. Hey, that's good. Were we ever happy when you knew us? Oh, 
That's a tough question to answer. Did I dance with pixies? Did we go to a circus? Did we laugh? Like, were we ever happy when you knew us? You all seem to be more or less dead inside. Dead inside? You know, you were on a mission, and that was your purpose. A dead inside. That's, uh... Hmm. Yeah, like, you definitely weren't dancing last time I saw you. Was it because we were scared or because of other things? That, I don't feel dead inside. Sounds like a very weird way to describe determined. I don't think so. I don't think that's what they mean. I don't know. Um, you know, we never really took the time to hang out and chat less. Oh, 72 times we'd met. It was more of like I was a bus stop on the way. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be treated like that. Oh, I don't mind. Um, this version of us does. This time I dance with pixies, and that's different. Okay, that's different. It's not Carmichael different, but it's different at least. A lot different from what I'm hearing. This seems like an entirely different line that we're all following. So we care more about other people and we aren't dead inside. So we're doing pretty all right. I'm still above ground. Oh yeah, there's the you not being dead part too. That's so, that's definitely yeah. No, that 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 you know that's probably matters. Like that's, that's true. That's a good point. I'm just saying, there's a lot and a lot different from these past seventy two times from what I'm hearing. You're you're not dead, and I dance with pixies. Yeah, yeah. My, your line kind of diverted, and mine didn't stop. Win win. I wonder why we were so unhappy. I feel like we're going to find out, but maybe not right now. I don't know. Maybe we will and maybe we won't, because those weren't really us, were they? They're not the you now. Otherwise, we'd be on the same path and I wouldn't be mm -hmm. here. I couldn't ever be here and not, you know, dance with the pixies and, and love how pretty it is and, and want to stay. And Bruegel, I couldn't ever be here and not decide that you're not the bad kind of creepy either. And um, not to speak for Harlan, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be sitting beside his bounty. Nope. Who knows, maybe last time Tobias didn't decide to come with us. Hmm. Well, he certainly wasn't at the top of that mountain, I'll say that much. Okay. Oh, okay. yes. You had a brush with lycanthropy, didn't you? <laughs> is that like a, is that like a bad breath or something? Like, what is that? What does that mean? Oh, the sheep where you were like almost a sheep? She became sheepy McSheepism. Yeah, that, okay. That, and then we ate him as lamb chops. Oh, that's kind of dark. Yeah. We don't know. Maybe they survived. Maybe they ran. Okay, well, thank you, Bruegel, for answering my questions. Yeah, thank you.
maybe it really is important that we stay a little bit so that we are not dead inside when we go. You guys on the look for it, right? Yeah. You gotta wait for that dress anyways, and maybe it's worth a couple yeah. new, more dances with those pixies. It would trouble to get up to tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have I hope my party. I was going to say, I'd imagine it'd be a lot harder to fight fight against the big odds with nothing to live for. Yeah. True. It's hard for me to think that that could be me and feel like I don't have anything to live for. I, I, don't, I don't think that could ever be me. Just, it couldn't be me. It was just somebody who looked like me. Had to be. Depends on what the circumstances were. Maybe it was worse at the monastery, or I don't know. Maybe we got mixed up with worse people. Who knows what happened last time? But like, Harlan, you would never have killed Desmond. That's not you. I mean, not now. Like maybe, like, like yeah. what? Like, let's be honest. Like. I was going to kill him, but I don't know. I don't think he would have. I mean, maybe sometimes he gets really annoying and then we kind of want to, but like not in the same way, you know? I just, maybe we all started out as the same people, maybe, but then we didn't end up as the same people at all. Not even close. Like we looked like the same people and we felt like the same people, but I don't know. Our spirits were like made from the same stuff, but they weren't the same spirits, maybe. There's probably 72 completely different versions of us. Or just 72 completely different people who started out as us. Yeah. Not the same. Hey, Bruegel, quick question. These repeated timelines, when did they restart? Did they start back at a specific point? Did they start back at the beginning of each other's existence? How far does it reset? From what I can tell, it's a bit different every time. Uh, Rizana, uh, she... She's been a real chef in the, uh, the timeline uh, kitchen, if you will. I don't. So it wasn't a specific birth or one of us living. It was an event that this starts at? Well, it seems to be the, the major event is the death of the three of them, and then it, she's jumped around to try to, I guess, you know, play with the settings. Ah, uh, so it always ends up with the same outcome. Yes. But the reset's always different. There's a couple of different constants. Those three die. Uh, that mask and... You know, endless. It, it had to be before Telkir. They had to go back before then. They had to go back even farther because Harlan killed you. It has to be farther back than that because we were all dead inside when we got here and we couldn't possibly have been otherwise. Well, the way I look at it is if we figure out the constants, you know what to change. No, because we're not going to fucking die again no. or else we're going to be done anyway. What did we change? We've already changed everything that we could. Definitely changed a lot. We still have the mask. I, I do not want you to plan for us to die again, Desmond. Planning. I'm trying to plan for the opposite. Don't even go there. Don't even think about that. 
Okay. Well, as Bruegel says, everything's laid out already, so maybe you're right. We just have to let everything fall where it falls. I don't want to feel like that again, okay? I don't want to do that again. I don't want to... I don't want to feel like that and I don't want to see that and I don't want it to happen again so we can't plan on that we have to just plan on winning oh definitely definitely so then what next we head to the monastery yeah actually next is that we you know camp and the pixies have a party and then I get a pixie dress that's what's next that's the that sounds next. like a good next Oh, and I have a bunch of goldfish, like stuffed ones. I'm going to pull one out. Like, do they, do the pixies, do they like, do they need furniture? You see uh, a couple of them swoop in and just like grab it like, thanks, dude. Oh, no, no, but I have a lot. I have a lot more. And I start dumping the bag out on the table. As they all start screaming in horror as it's raining. <laughs> do you need any more? Because there's a lot and you didn't have any beds last night, so I thought maybe you would. Just toss a few of them up there and see what happens. We can only take a couple. We don't have the storage space. <laughs> Our apartments are too small. <laughs> I'll start putting most of them back in my bag and leave a couple on the table. <laughs> you can make me solo for it. You should leave them around the Feywild like park benches. <laughs> oh, like little fairy gardens. Okay, well. Okay. We're not dead inside and we need to not be. So that's, that's the big thing is that we can't let that happen. We can't let that happen. Because that's what's different that we can do anything about. Oh, with the five of us, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I will have to disagree with uh, dessert over there. Not everything's set in stone. There are a few uh, bookmarks in the chapters, but the, the story's not finished. I'm sorry, did you just call him dessert? Yep. Oh, yes, I did. Come on, Desmond. Come on. He, he like cringes at it. And he's just like shudders yeah. and like doesn't quite understand what happened, but like knows Bruegel's talking to him. Run. <laughs> kind of just shakes it Run off. Run toward, not away. Run toward, not away. I ship it. I ship I mean, it. I if ship you're it. Gonna, if I you're going to get with anyone, I suppose, a uh, I suppose a gin is definitely a way to go. Right? Right? Right, I ship it. I'm all she for it. She can grab tears right. How bad could that be? <laughs> it could be pretty cool. Get she can grant your wishes, it, but you do only get, get three, get so it. be careful. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, uh, I totally <laughs> missed what you called him. I'm just like. <sighs> so it's like dinner oh, time, right? Jesus. It's dessert Eating time. Dinner. Yeah, y'all okay. are at, at the <laughs> dinner table right now. Okay. And is this a version of the Feywild where the sun sets? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can make it. The sun can set if you want. That's well, you're, it's, your, it's your world. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like I have that much power over the Feywild, but okay. Uh... Hold on, this is all in our imagination. It's a dream. It's the Matrix. <laughs> uh, we'll say it's it. It depends on the person. If you if you go off. Like a little bit, you can have your own private little sunset, but it's all it's like continually dusk everywhere, um, okay. unless uh, the uh, specific user wants to have a little night nighttime. Okay. I um, yeah, I'm gonna go I don't know, see the sunset over the lake. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll join you. I haven't watched the sunset in a while. I didn't even know the sunset here. I, I, it does, right, Bruegel? Like, there's a, it, right? 
It's some. That's some. It's sure. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure. You can make the sunset if you'd like. <laughs> the program's frozen. Alt control delete. You know, bring up the top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm gonna get up and head back over to the lake and. I go with. I think I would go over to Desmond. Hey, uh, I feel like Kepri's been drinking. <laughs> it's just, just, just been. You have. Of... Remember, you had like two of those things of the circus. Yeah, yeah. The hurricanes or whatever. One. Yeah, yeah, and hurricane I of flavors. I have been keeping the buzz going. Um, hey, Des, I have a question for you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, what do you, what do you need? Does sending work from here? I don't Oh, I've never tried it. Did you want to give it a shot? I think I yeah. have it ready. Yeah. Mm, maybe not. Let me check. Or next time you have it. Yeah. Well, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. I'll make sh- I'll make sure I take a moment and I'll ready it for the morning. Well, uh, what are you thinking? I just want to check on Amra. Yeah, uh, I thought maybe. So we'll make sure we have it first thing, and then if you really get anxious. Wake me up before the others, and we'll we'll give it a shot. Okay. But for now, why don't you try and get some rest? It's been a bit of a heavy evening. I gotta rest myself, and I'll probably go do my my routine, and then start winding down. Should probably drink some water. Those uh, two drinks were really... <sighs> Yeah. Okay. Before you go down, I'll like kind of just check on you before you go. Do you need me to help you sleep again? Gonna be all right. I would appreciate that. You just get yourself comfortable. And then once you lay down and you're comfortable, just say, you know, again, just don't stop it. And I hit with calm emotions again. Oh, just before. Um, so I go and do like my sunset ritual thing that I still do. And then before I settle down for the night, I kind of want to give Tobias a Uh, you see that Tobias has kind of finished eating, uh, he's gone ahead and actually, uh, begun to pack a few things into his bag, uh, like a little satchel, and just, hey. Hey, you doing okay? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Just peachy, right as rain. <laughs> <laughs> Gestures vaguely. <laughs> kind of a lot to get hit with. I not really uh that much of a pleasant conversation to be honest. No. But uh one that needed to happen. It's like Newt said. So much has changed. So much has changed. Hopefully for the better. (laughs) I have no doubts about that. Not in the slightest. But I also agree that perhaps planning uh, a little bit too much was also what may have gotten us into this situation in the first place. Maybe. So maybe we just have to roll with it. Maybe. 
How are you feeling? Uh, I got a little woozy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drinks help uh, from overthinking, which is probably why talking's harder than it should be. But um, this is my really awkward way of saying. Uh, maybe you should check in with Newt. Oh, I know. But at the same time, I don't want to be interrupting what stops her from being dead inside, I, I, I guess is exactly what she said. Um, no, she deserves her happiness. I'll, I'll duck in when it's a, a little bit more appropriate, I guess. Yeah. But uh, for now, I've, uh, I've got work to do. What so, are you working on? If we're dealing with something that can kill something as powerful as you folks, I'm going to need a bigger gun. Mm. So that's what I'm working on currently. I'm going to go ahead and get that sorted. Do what I can to help you folks out. When it's appropriate, I'll go ahead and apologize to Newt. I don't want it to be at the wrong time. Yeah. That's the plan. Okay. Well, don't stay up too late, because... probably get up early-ish tomorrow. Hmm. We'll see what happens. May the morrow rise to meet you. I'll nod and make my way out. Give you a drunk pat on the back and <laughs> <laughs> my way back to my camp. I'm going to go to my table, I'm going to work on my gun, and when I need a break, I'm going to play my flute. And that's, that's my night. That's, that's my whole night. <laughs> Until... So Google and Desmond, then? No, Desmond at this point is helping uh, um, Kepri relax and, and get to sleep by holding calm emotions on her. I feel like as I'm falling asleep, I'm like, you should talk to Brugel. <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. And he hits it again. And then. Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go it's to the sleep. alcohol. <laughs> it's just go to sleep. Go to sleep. You heard nothing. Go to bed. You're, go to you're bed. talking crazy. <laughs> oh, I think she likes you. <laughs> That's calm emotions again. Just shh. <laughs> It's not a tranquilizer. That's not how it works. Oh, she's <laughs> yeah, just for, for this point. It is. Don't let me. Don't don't make me bring out the big guns and start casting something heavy. Thanks for the raid, Sword and Shield. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome to friends who roll dice and cry and chip and do and laugh and laugh I was and dance say, with all the negative things first and and. <laughs> The negative things. Yeah, I was going to say, for Cole, that's not negative. <laughs> yeah, uh, excuse me. I cry happy tears. Um, <laughs> also, uh, friends who support the Trevor Project and Black Lives and Black Matter. Lives Matter. Uh, today is the last day of our fundraiser. We are 175 from 5K. Um, and we're cute, so you Yay. should like consider donating. If you have the extra money, and if you don't, it's okay. And I'm sending you hugs. Yeah, that's my message. I'm <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, down by the lake um, with Newt and Harlan, you see y'all are sitting near the, the shore and a bunch of pixies are gliding over the top of the water. Kind of it looks like they're doing like ice skating on the, uh, the surface of the water. And uh, they are singing a legally uh, distinct 
song from uh, Kiss the Girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it is right. just, yeah, so, it's, yeah, that's what's going on. Sitting and, and leaning against Arlen and watching and watching the sunset and just kind of a lot more relaxed than she's been for the whole day or since the vision. Just a little bit of a smile on her face, too. It seemed like you're feeling a bit better. It wasn't us. And it, it, it wasn't us. What I saw, it, it wasn't us. No? It was... No. What people look like us, eh? Didn't... Well, people whose spirits were made out of the same thing, but not us. Because... I couldn't, couldn't be here and be dead inside. I couldn't be here with you and be dead inside. And it couldn't have been me. It wasn't us. Yeah. No, that makes sense. And I mean, maybe, maybe you were dead inside before, although I don't think you were, but you aren't anymore. So it wasn't you. Someone completely different. Yeah. Well, that's kind of reassuring, right? It wasn't us. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if people who aren't dead inside fight better than people who are. I don't I don't know. But I mean at least that's different. At least we have that. So maybe we have a chance. Look you're dead inside and fighting. You're just one step away from being completely gone, right? I don't know. You did it. Yeah. And if I died, what would it have mattered? Would have mattered what? a lot. I don't know, but it wouldn't have been really any different than the way I was living my life, right? True. So, it wasn't us. No. Oh. And it felt like us Sure thought it was us, but I was wrong because that wasn't us. So, you know, that's better. I mean, I still don't want to go to the monastery and I still don't want to go to that horrible place. Like, don't get me wrong. It sounds really terrible and it was really terrible. And I don't want to go there, but I mean, at least it's good to know that we didn't die over and over and over again. Just people made of the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not done. Everything's fine. I mean, It'll, yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's still gonna fuck us up in the head a little bit, you know. Oh like yeah. It's, it's still. I don't. There's all these things that we said that we wanted, right? That we we wanted to do and and have when all of this was over, and and we're gonna go and we're gonna all almost die, or some of us might die, and it's gonna fuck us up. And I don't. Can we even go back to living that way after that? Is that even something we could do? I don't I don't know for sure. I like to think so. Um while well, while they've been talking, Harlan's just been kinda fiddling with flowers that he's picked from around him and and just you know, playing around with them, but um you know, Newt <clears throat> just cause life you know what life might be difficult after all that happens um i think that's putting it really small and it's really big yeah but where i'm going with that is that instead of planning for tomorrow we should probably just live for today so I don't know. I think you made a pretty big commitment with your spirit and all that to what we have. I mean, that's, I guess you could call it that. I mean, I guess when you like take a piece of your own spirit and you put it into somebody else nope. permanently and you can't nope. do anything about nope. what, what? <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. That's all right. So I can't do anything like that because I don't have that capability, but he's going to hold up 
a little a little fashion ring with a little flower. Like with like a stem? <laughs> no, no, no. A little fashion ring with just like the little flower head just on the top of it. Gotcha. That's adorable. Okay. And he's gonna hold it out to Newt. I can't do what you did, but I can do this. I do what? Will you marry me? Oh. All right, that's a thing that people do. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Panicked. <laughs> I just, oh, I just don't know anything about that stuff, you know? Like, you don't really grow up around people who do that when you grow up around monks. It's... No, and that that wasn't your world before. It was my world. I grew up in a home where that was a thing. But I like your world. I want to share that with you. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah. So I think, I, I don't know, like we, I'm, there's like a, a little ceremony that can be performed, but it, I think maybe, would you want, we could get Bruegel to do that even today. But, but it, I don't actually know how you do that. Well, we'll talk to Bruegel about it, but there's. And then Bruegel well, like so. figures it out and we don't, I don't have to know. No, I don't have to. No. I don't know how to do it. Um, no. Okay. Should fine. I know anything? Is there something that I need to know? Because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> okay. And she'll she'll take the ring. And be like, yeah. I don't I think. On the finger. Put well, it. I know that's where ring. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Yeah. She'll put it on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I don't want to wait. Um, for tomorrow, because we might not get it tomorrow. I want this today. I just, I want to be as far from dead inside as we can be. But I don't want to just think about today. I, I, I want to believe in, in, in living like this and in this way and like as those people, yeah. you know, after. This is just that first step. I kind of like Bruegel. That's kind of cool. I kind of, I kind of like her. Yeah. yeah oddly enough. Yeah. Okay. Right. But you're just going to have to tell me what to do because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you wait right here. I'm going to go get Br uh, Bruegel and be right back. Okay. 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 All right. All right. And Harlan is going to stand and just scamper off as quick as he can to go find Bruegel. While he's gone, I'm making myself a flower crown. Hell yeah! I'm letting my hair down, out of its, uh, out of its ponytail for once. <laughs> Ray's having a heart attack over there. <laughs> I think I think we've we've murdered Cole. They're gone. They're gone now. Cole's gone. <laughs> uh, we also had another donation during that RP. Yes. That Yay! Show. Thank you so much. Unreal. <laughs> Woo! Yay! If that's what it takes, we'll just all marry each other. Like if that's what it takes to get <laughs> to get that money in for Black Lives Matter and the Trevor oh Project. My oh gosh. yeah. Oh my heart, my heart's not going to be able to take this. <laughs> oh, Oakley, you thank you so much. Thank you for this. <laughs> yeah. That was so cute. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> is now how long have you two been holding on to that shit <laughs> you can ask later sure. <laughs> ah! okay i'm good sorry oh, holy hell oh okay how the hell does anyone I'm sincerely follow worried that about you a little bit <laughs> when that guy looked at you i was sincerely sincerely worried about <laughs> <laughs> Where are 
married for who? Everyone? Yes. For Ray. Oh. <laughs> like he looked like a legit, a legit heart just, attack or something. Cole was already yes. dead, so. <laughs> There's a just... morning process, and then Ray was about to die, so. Okay. Oh, man. How does uh, anyone follow up anything <laughs> after that? We could jump to Harlan finding Bruegel, and Harlan, as you're, you're running around, you come across Bruegel, and uh, at this point, actually, all of the Feywild in the immediate area has gone tonight, and they're kind of just like playing with the stars and moving them around um, as you stroll up. Wait, playing with the stars and moving them around like pointing at them and getting them to move? Oh, yes. That's so awesome. Okay. <laughs> so Harlan's going in a good clip and see, sees Bruegel, starts basically running towards her, sees what they're doing, looking, looks up, and so, okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um, Bruegel. Harlan? Strange. Is anyone around them right now, Evan? Or is it just, she's kind of off on her own? Uh, they're more or less on their own. There's a couple like pixies hanging around. <clears throat> oh shit, we just got raided by one. Oh, okay. You it's missed done. the proposal. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you missed the proposal. But hello. <laughs> hello. Welcome. Welcome Welcome. To game. Oh, I'm muted. That's another dollar for one Black Lives Matter. Matter. <laughs> we are so close to a five thousand dollar goal for Black Lives Matter and the Trevor product. So if you can make a donation, but I'll, also I'll just miss the proposal. But uh, you know, we might have a wedding soon. Who yeah. knows? Hang <laughs> around for that. Yeah, you may have tuned in for a wedding. It's a... <laughs> to roll dice and ship. Hell yeah. It's not shotgun wedding, don't worry. Yeah, you uh you come up and Just you know they're they're playing with the stars, moving them around, and body. they've got little pixies that are kind of just braiding their hair as they sit there on the on a log. Okay. I'm gonna sit down next to Bruel and <clears throat> I have a, a favor to ask of you. You've got a favor to ask of me. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um it's actually for Newt and myself. Um You seem like you are a wise and powerful individual and all that sort of stuff. Could you do us the honor of marrying us? Oh, Harlan, flattery will get you everywhere. Yes, I'd love to marry the two of you, you salty dog. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Brigle's so cheeky, holy smokes. I love Brigle. I just need one thing. What What do you Oh, need? what a twist. <laughs> a twist. <laughs> oh, there's a flower that I need as a spell component. See, it's pollen. It's made of uh, silver dust. Okay. Could you go fetch it? Absolutely. Not fetch. I don't mean to say that. That sounds That's weird. Totally, yes, I'm sorry. Totally fine. Could you gather it for me? Uh, any direction? Point? Where? How? What does it look like? Oh, just that way. It'll be under a waterfall. You can't miss it. That way? Under a waterfall. I'll be right back. Sure, you might want to bring your bride to be. Oh, it no, could I'm, be I'm, very helpful. I'm gonna. I'm, yep. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And he'll give her just an awkward hug, and then he'll start running back to Newt. Good luck. And by the time he gets back, she's done that really pretty flower crown, and she's got her hair all down, and getting already a little bit tangled in her inherent breeze, but she doesn't <laughs> care. <laughs> I come kind of sliding to a halt and, and sees what she's done and kind of stares slack jaw for a minute. Takes himself out of it. I didn't make one to make you wear because I figured you wouldn't want to, but I can if you want, but I didn't because I just wanted one. Totally fine. 
Okay. No problem. Where's Bruegel? Uh, there's one thing we need to grab first. Um, if we go that way, and it'll point in the direction. Okay. There is a flower that didn't get a description on what it looks like, but it's under a waterfall. We have to go get a flower. Is that is this a thing that people do for like these wedding things? Is that like how it you go and? It's a it's a uh, component for this a spell. Oh, okay. So like, there's like a quest part of weddings. That's a, you. I didn't know that, but oh. yeah. You know, I didn't either. I thought maybe it was just because I don't know anything about weddings. But okay, all right. So we're just gonna go get a flower from under a waterfall. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. Cool. He's just been beaming the entire time. He's yeah. pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is she? Head to the waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll say the, the two of you hike for, you know, good 20, 30 minutes, and you, you go into the forest, and you come to this opening, and it's just a very large waterfall, and it's like setting has gotten very like jungly and there's a nice like big pool of water under it and it's just like so clear and looking at the waterfall itself you can kind of see that there might be a little something back behind it oh well my clothes are gonna get all wet my hair is gonna get really gross um uh, okay um uh, what i can go and oh okay why did you bring me if you were oh. let's go you're right i don't know just i'm just go. it's just still ill dry it's okay it's fine yeah. I, I i put it back up in a ponytail <laughs> <laughs> i don't want it tangled and wet <laughs> to be fair i didn't know there was gonna be a waterfall no no i wasn't blaming i wasn't blaming you i, I didn't okay, i didn't i know it's fine let's go get the flower thing okay, okay. I guess we'll just pick every flower that's under the waterfall, so hopefully one of them is the right one. Yeah, look for like a silvery type center. A silvery center. Yeah. Okay. And I march up to the waterfall. Yep. Like an idiot. <laughs> that's not the word I should use. Like someone who does not plan ahead. <laughs> uh, so I guess we have surpassed the 5K. Can what? we... No, no, what? It's, 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 this is this is my <laughs> seated dance. Wait, what? Oh my so, god! Right, so the Trevor projects, uh, the Trevor projects uh, total won't update Ooh. at the moment, but with the donation from uh, Brithin, uh, PJ Shamrock, and I believe we got another donation as well that hasn't um, popped up. Oh, Katara an extra 25 Zina. from Katara Zena to Black Lives Matter. Um, even without Jen's donation now, we are at 5K. <laughs> I so love I all of you so loud, much. What yeah. was your goal? Uh, 400. 400. <laughs> And we yeah, get a wedding. Is, you get a wedding as a reward. <laughs> you get a wedding and you get a wedding. That depends <laughs> on whether we get the stamp flower. <laughs> I love all of you in this community so much. And I mean that so sincerely. Like, oh, are we going to cry again? Probably I, more no, likely I'm, than you think. <laughs> uh, I just, what, what a group of people. How fucking lucky are we? Just so fucking lucky. Yeah. Anyway. There That's are no I'm words, saying. seriously. No. no, there really aren't. You're you're all amazing and just we're so honored to to be in community with you. You very rarely see a group of people step up in such a big way in such a short period of time, and it's it's wonderful to see that. So yeah. thank you everyone. I could do it without looking nope, I did you it. You did it fine, you had a fine <laughs> I did it. You can't do card tricks and not be able to do hand hearts. It usually comes out like a circle. It's terribly embarrassing. <laughs> ah, you got, well, you're going to have to practice. <laughs> <laughs> the new hand heart. I got to redraw the logo now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we love you all. You're all wonderful and amazing. Thank you. It's going to be so much more satisfying when Tiltify actually decides to update. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Believe us. <laughs>
Believe us. <laughs> Believe us. Yes, you are amazing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, now okay. at least like we're prepared to cry for the wedding. There you go. Yeah. It's well, like the pre-cry. We're on a wedding mission here, so let's. Uh, yes. Uh, so yes. you have this waterfall in front of you. What looks to be a uh, passage behind it. What are What are y'all doing? I am impulsively barging into the waterfall at whatever point seems like it's least likely to soak my hair. <laughs> Okay, and we'll, we'll say um, for tonight only, your wind power is strong enough to stop you from getting your hair wet. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> a um, wedding gift from the DM. For oh. one night only, wow. your hair wow. is not ruined. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think that's the most touching moment. It's a wedding <laughs> miracle. <laughs> yeah. And Harlan, are you, I'm assuming you're going with? Oh yeah. Okay, and as you all cross through this uh, this waterfall, and it is like deafening around you, you come through on the other side, and it's uh, cave like, and there's actually a big like iron door in front of you, and it's got a little keyhole. Are there any flowers outside of the door? No flowers that you can see so far. None of them. Yeah. Oh. They didn't give us a key. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pick the lock. Like... Pick the lock. Oh, I feel like I got a, a key a while ago that if, like, there's a way that it works, if I roll a certain thing, then it opens the door. Oh, is that your trinket or something? Yeah, like, it, it's one odd key. <laughs> and, of course, I wrote detailed notes that told me what exactly it did. <laughs> Classic Doug. So, so, as Harlan is, like, digging through his bags. Hold on. And I'm like, are you looking for your tools? Because you can, you can, you, you, right? You, it's, you a can fi- it's a 5% chance that it works. So I'm going to try that key first. Oh, that's right. Okay. Maybe there will be more, like, holy, wedding holy, luck. Holy, it worked! <laughs> no! <laughs> worked or worked? <laughs> you put the key in, you hear... <laughs> the door slowly uh, opens up. And on the other side of it, you see this uh, iron gate, and behind the iron gate is this magnificent glowing blue uh, flower. Maybe kind of looks like a a tulip, and it just has like this shimmering silver coming from uh, where the stamen is. I don't know flower parts, but I think I'm right. (laughs) (laughs) What? Why would you have like a door and then a gate right behind the door? Some people are just, I don't know. That's a, it's a weird concept. And around, around the, the gate and the wall structure, you see that there's uh, like five little holes. Well, that can't be any kind of good. I've, I'm just going to go open the gate. That I'm just gonna the, the, no, it, the holes. Why, the holes. Uh, make why is that sense? a problem if there's a hole in the gate? Oh, so those holes, I worry, will shoot things out. Rubel sent us to do something where we could get shot. Uh, it appears that way. They are so weird. Like I like them, but they're so weird. And if you get shot, I'm gonna like them a lot less. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm really fast. Hold on. How, is there this gate? Is there gaps in the bar? Like gnome size gaps? What was the question? Sorry. How, <laughs> is there, how big are the gaps in this gate? Is there actual gaps or is it like a gate like, eh, you're probably not going to fit through it? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not going to fit through the, the gate there. All right. If it's unlocked, like I can catch things that get shot at me, and I can go really fast. Yeah. Um, is well, is there any like sort of lever <laughs> or pulley? Yeah, or like a do, stick. 
uh, perception checks if you'd like. <laughs> of course. Of you course. Know, we got so many gifts. Someday I'm going to do like a super cut of every time Doug complains about a perception check. Like okay. every single time. <laughs> I rolled a 17. <laughs> I rolled an 8, so I'm a little distracted by like... I don't understand this is part of how like a wedding works and this seems really weird, but I'm really excited and really happy, but I don't really understand this is strange. So that's uh, 11. Harlan's never been more focused in his life. <laughs> nice. Uh, Harlan, with a 17, looking around, you see that there are a handful of like miniature statues. One is of an eagle, the other is a snake, the other is a rat, there's one of a grasshopper, and then finally one of a little leaf. I see your Skyrim reference. I never played through Skyrim. I did finish it. I, I see never you. played it at all, like at all at all. I see you. <laughs> There's a whale and a hawk. <laughs> Hold on. Because of the horrible admission that you just made about never having played through Skyrim, eagle, snake, what? Rat, grasshopper, and leaf. Listen, I got like... I, I got sidetracked by all the side quests and then I got other games. <laughs> I've got a problem, all right? <laughs> Don't feel bad. So I do we all. Either. So the, um, the little statues, is it like, is there any corresponding images around the holes? No, but there's about five statues and five holes. Well, that's, I just wanted to know if there was like a little pictogram that made it a little easier. I don't, I don't, um, I'm not good at this stuff. Okay, I think what we need to do is, is take these little statues and plug them into the holes. Oh, I, I, okay. I go and pick up the leaf and I go put it in a hole. And nothing happens. Uh, did it fit properly? <laughs> yeah. It didn't shoot me. That's good. Okay, well, let's just try putting them in. I think that's fine. Maybe it's just like, I don't know, I have to decorate it right before it'll open for you. I try to open the gate. It does not budge. And maybe we, we have to decorate it right. <clears throat> or I, could I climb over it? Uh, no, it goes into the rock formation, like top okay. to bottom. All right. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, um, I'll go pick up the grasshopper next and put it in another. Are you, where are you placing it? Yeah, what order so, do you want to do that in? <laughs> yeah, I went to whatever was like on the far right and then I'm going like that, so. Okay, like uh, uh, in order from right to left, I believe yeah. that's where you're? Yeah, okay. from right to left. Okay, so leaf, grasshopper. I just like take all of them and put them in order from right to left because Newt has zero idea how to solve puzzles. So that's what I do. Uh, yeah, it's okay, but what order would that have been? <laughs> uh, from left to right, it would be eagle, snake, rat, grass, upper leaf. The exact order that they were in. I guess I, I should have mixed those up. It works, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> You were relying on them to overcomplicate it in order to. Oh, it, it being new, it being new was a serious miscalculation. And it totally I, opens up. I, I saw I solved I solved a puzzle. That's me. That was hilarious. Um, <clears throat> Harlan just stares in just sheer bafflement like that. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. You're a genius. We don't have to go too far. It's oh, no, 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 I wouldn't like, miss hours you know, here trying to figure out. I mean, it, it wasn't that big a deal, you know. Be proud of this. I mean, what the hell? I would have been forever. We would have never have gotten in. Flower. Flower, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I go and grab the flower impulsively going ahead the way that I keep doing. <laughs> Give me a constitution set. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you, you pull the flower. And once you do that, uh, Rugal actually appears next to you all. He's like, ah, 
<laughs> Hello, well, you've done it. Thank you so much for gathering this for me. Where did I, you? Wait, oh, I just hand the flower. They take the flower and they tap out. Uh, you see some like some dust particles fall fall down, and it's like a hefty sum, and it actually looks like silver. And she's like, "This was a key in, key component to the uh, the ceremony." Uh, well, would we like to do it here? Would you like to involve your, you know, your group? Go there. What does this place look like? Well, we are. It's a. Cave. No, no, that was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, I mean, you're. It's a, It's in a cave. It's a cave. I mean, this is kind of a cave. It's just a cave. I mean, I don't know how these work. Is like a cave normal, or is like a pretty where, place? Like, do you want to just in a cave? To, like, where would you like to do it? Pretty place. Pretty place. Okay, let's well, find yeah, like, a nice pretty place. place that, I mean, it doesn't have to be. It just that just seems no, like yeah. the kind of thing that you would want. Right? Yeah, let's do okay. it. Pretty. Take us to a really pretty place, Brigal. A really pretty place. Okay. By like our standards. Oh, I will try. <laughs> They like snapped their fingers and you were all teleported outside and actually above the um, the waterfall and there's just like a bridge that has been made of uh, like vines and whatnot. And I don't remember what that arcing thing is called where people get married under by, but one of those comes I up. I don't either. <laughs> the and, fuck is it? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. you see a bunch of those blue flowers actually sprout from that. And she says, well, I think this is a good spot. And in the, all, in the trees around, you see a bunch of uh, pixies have gathered and they're just like lighting up the, uh, the, uh, the trees. Look how pixies are here. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I like them. They're my friends. You have awesome friends. <laughs> they all glow. Am I glowing? I believe it is a pavilion. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yes, you you can be glowing any color you'd like. Well, I guess you have that. Purple yeah, I'm purple. Glow. You yeah. have the purple glow going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, they kind of look like me now, or I kind of look like them now, a little bit, kind of, a little bit, like. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rugal, take it away. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sorry. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, yeah, I've never even seen one of these, so you're going to have to help me out. Well, if, if you would like to say anything to one another, we could just treat them like as vows. Um, that's something that like you promised to do to death. Well... That's a tricky thing. You've all died several times, but until you no, know, the next time around, I suppose. I, that was creepy. I what? Okay, I, got I don't. I don't. I, I got. It. Okay. Uh, Newt. Here and now, and forevermore, I will love you with all of my heart. I will be there beside you every step of the way for the rest of our lives together and then and beyond. You changed everything for me. And this will be the best day of my life. Thank and you. that's what I got. Yeah. Thank you. Why am I supposed to say something back? If you would like. Yeah, okay. okay. I don't know. Maybe I was just supposed to listen. I was, I was really, I was really awesome. I was really awesome. Um, I don't know. Like I said it already, but I could never be dead inside if I was with you ever. And I never will be, and I'll never let myself be, and... I want, I want a whole lifetime with you and I want 
more than that. And I want to, I want to have a house and I want to have a garden and I, and I just want to have like a, I don't know, place and, and, and just be together and, and always be that way. And even if I don't, even if, even if walking up the stupid spine of the world is like the last day that I have, it'll still be worth it because of you. I love you. My heart can never really be anything except happy because of you. Also, you're really cute. He just nods. He can't speak. <laughs> that was very sweet. I think now is about the time where you, you kiss each other and make it you seal it with a kiss, I think, is the expression. She will kneel down so that she can kiss him <laughs> on his level. Because for those who don't know, she's about two and a half feet taller. We'll, we'll say the, the vines actually grow and make a little pedestal so he's <gasps> lifted up to your level. <laughs> That's adorable. You know, I've always thought I deserve to be up, put on a pedestal. There you go. Well, she did just put you on one, so, you know, that works. Yeah. Oh yeah, she she's not even shy about it. She doesn't wait for you. She just kisses you. And he returns it just as passionately and fiercely. And you um, know, she can hold her breath indefinitely, so she'll wait until you're done. <laughs> he will die. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, little uh, and with, with that you you hear a, a bunch of uh, uh, fireworks, and looking up into the sky, you can see like outlines of yourself, like of yourselves embracing, and then in like big uh, fireworks letters, it says like uh, uh, Harnoot or Harit, Narlin, Narlin, and they did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I'm yeah. still grab his hand and just stand there and watch. Thank you, Virgil. I don't. That's that's. We, thank I you. I don't know how to repay you for that. Yeah. Oh, I'll think of something. But enjoy your night. It's it's. Don't worry about me. <laughs> and I smile, got... nod, and put his arm around Newton. Just go. Uh oh. <laughs> just 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 a sec though, okay. Um Brugal? Brugal? Yes. Is it okay if I hug you? Um sure, why not? That's yes, of course. Okay. Brugal gets a really enthusiastic hug. She's like, oh uh, yeah. she hugs you hugs you back. Yeah, and then Newt kisses her on the cheek. And then goes back and, and puts her arm around Harlan again and watches the pixies in the sky. This has been a great night. You all solved that puzzle really quickly. It was. I solved it. I solved, you I solved, solved it. it. No, that was yeah. great. I saw that. I saw, it was some contrived point of like circle of life or something but you did it very quickly <laughs> oh well i don't really understand what that means but it worked really well and i figured it out and that was really cool and, and that's all that matters and, all right well i'm gonna go back do you want to lift back or are you taking the scenic route i'm fine here We'll be all right, thank you. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right, alakazala, malakazoo. I don't have a, a saying yet, but I'll think of something. <laughs> <laughs> and they poof out. And so uh, we'll just spend time together, and I guess uh, this would pr probably be an appropriate fade to black. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll actually fade up to the fireworks going off. There you go. 
Mm. <laughs> what's, what's everybody else doing back at camp? Or are we just bedding down? I think every's out after sleeping off a bit of a mediocre bender. I'll let you confirm. <laughs> Des would have, Des would have <laughs> You're a little bit quiet there. I think you're broken. So I don't mind hope you don't mind me speaking for you. <laughs> Desmond would be, uh, he would have crashed because he would have been eager to go and prep his spells and want to get an early night's rest, hoping that Capri would wake him up or everybody else. I hope he's working on his gun. That's it. He's not, very in- he's not very interesting right now. <laughs> the new boomstick. We got to build that new boomstick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he's burying a, burying himself in work, essentially. Um, will eventually sleep, maybe? Probably. Uh, <laughs> no, we're talking about Tobias, not you. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, <laughs> I, have no, I have no witty retort here. Yes, so. <laughs> yes. I got ready to be speechless. Don't uh, come back. Yeah, uh, t- uh, Tobias is working on his gun and will go ahead and eat and sleep and wake up in the morning and get myself ready to go, pretty much. I'm nice and boring at the minute. <laughs> uh, Tobias, you, you can hear some uh, some grumbles from uh, a bush nearby. It's like, I think we can I think we can take him so we're about to, we're about due for a kill okay okay any chance that I hear this at all I am absolutely fine with you not hearing this because I was just going to turn around and pull the pistol and just go alright how'd you come Come say hello. It'll be fine. It'll be a blast. You do you. (laughs) Oh, you don't want to go down this road, chap. Just give us a little blood and we'll be on our way. You're a (sighs) bit... All right. Look. I almost got turned into a werefucker already. Don't want to be turned into a vampire either, so you go ahead, twist your heads round, and we'll pretend nothing happened. How about that? Ed, you see these, um, kind of gnome-like creatures walk out of the, um, out of the bush, and they've got these, like, big old droopy red caps and big old iron boots, and then a giant, like, they all have, like, large sickles. Said, just give us the blood. Uh, what do they look like? Sorry, I caught the description of the the outfits, but uh, they kind of look like garden gnomes, but uh, very sinister. Sinister garden gnomes. Okay, I'm trying to debate whether my rifle would be done at this point. I don't think it would be. I don't know. I can stick with the pistol. It's fine. I just kind of roll my eyes and say. Why does everything in the Feywild just want to kill you all the time? It's meant to be pretty. It's meant to be beautiful. There's meant to be lots of colors, and I'm getting distracted. Okay, who are you, Jokers? Oh, we're known as the Red Caps, and we need blood to stay alive. So come on, just hand it over, and nobody has to die here. But we'll kill you if we have to. All right, look. I know there's plenty of other things around here that can give you blood. Go suck on a spider if you want it that bad. But, uh, this stays, stays here. <clears throat> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> or intimidation. Whichever one you want to do. Uh, persuasion. Oh, actually, they're both the same, because bard. <laughs> right. And is there any chance I hear this? I thought you were with Capri. 
I was out. I'm, I'm like laying wherever the camp is, so I don't know where that is in perspective to where you are. Uh, 21. The the couple of the red caps that have come out of this bush look, look at each other. Like, all right, you sir, you get to keep your life this time, but next time, boyo, we'll be coming for your blood. Slink back into the bush. Yeah, we'll be coming for you. I just kind of, <laughs> I do the thing where like I'm looking, I just blink a couple of times. Boyo. Feckin' rude sons of I just go straight back to working. Like, I uh, better keep a feckin' eye on those. I wonder how everybody else is doing. I swear to God, if I'm the only one that's been accosted by these things, I'm gonna be... Uh, flattered. Irritated. Fl- flattered. Whatever. Questions for later. Flattered. <laughs> Put it on a t-shirt. Put it on a yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> We're calling dibs, everybody in chat. We're getting that. <laughs> Absolutely feckin' flattertated. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I guess I'll get back to work. Freaking weird, <laughs> weird creatures. <laughs> yeah, and if, uh, if nobody else says anything, we could just... Uh... Uh, flash forward to uh, the next morning and there'll be a big uh, smorgasbord of breakfast. Uh, before that, though, I would get up for... Um, I just dropped my yes card. Oh, this poor thing is so abused. Uh, I would wake up um, Desmond when I get up at sunrise. So as you like, as you wake me up, I'm just kind of like mumble it in my sleep, but like kind of very restless. Um, and as I wake up, I'm a little bit shook up, but kind of all right. Oh shit! Should I let you sleep? Mm-mm. No, no, no! I asked you to wake me up. That's it's fine. Did you get a good rest? Yeah. Thanks for helping me sleep. No, oh, no, it's. No problem. Like, I know it can be tough going through some stuff, and it's hard to get to sleep. Then it's harder to sleep to get to sleep than it is to sleep. So, I've been there. An old trick an old friend taught me. But uh, you want to go and see if we can see how she's doing? You think she'll be up? I don't know. Time works weird here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit faster, slower. I don't know. There's glowing things and little things that dance. Holds up her hand. It's... Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, let's let's give it a go, I guess. Um, what do you want to say? Um, hey, uh, wanted to see how you were doing. Miss you. Hope you're okay. Consider it done. That should be more than enough. But I take a moment and kind of close my eyes and you'll see the back of my eyelids kind of flare for a second and I uh, kind of like turn like a vibrant green as I kind of like pull back into my own mind and, and pull the words from my mind and send them off to uh, Amra. Roll a percentage die. Ugh, I hate nothing. Percentage nothing it's ever planes. good. Nothing ever good happened with a percentage. It has like a ten percent chance of going through. If, if fifty-two, that. that's not in the middle. That's nothing's gonna happen. Middle is never good with a percentage die, unless it's a fifty percent chance. Does does have any way of knowing? I mean, he'll know if he gets an answer. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, ooh, I, actually, I gotta roll, so, roll my own over here. So, like, yeah. So the the kind of the glow behind my eyelids disappears. My eyes open. I'm back to normal. And I'm just like waiting. As I'm waiting, I'm kind of looking at you, just sitting there, just kind of 
listening in, waiting to hear something. And it it takes um, a fair bit longer than uh, normal, but you get a response back. So after, so I'm sitting there waiting, and you kind of see me get a little bit discouraged, and kind of like giving Kepri these eyes, like I don't know if this is gonna work. We can wait a little bit longer, and then it hits me, and mm -hmm. you'll see my kind of my eyes flare back as I catch the message. Desmond, uh, well, Desmond, tell uh, Cap that. I miss it so much too, and I've just been so busy, and I've landed at a at a farm, and we do in fact have llamas here, and ah uh, shit, I've where are y'all at? I hope you're us don't count, right? <laughs> So as I snap out of it and my eyes kind of come back to my normal, I go, well, she's, yeah, apparently she's at a farm. There's llamas and she says she misses you. Um, she's there waiting. Do you want to send her another one? She's wondering where she, where we're at. Oh boy. Um... That, that took a long time. I don't know if it's going to reach her, but we can give it another go. I got another, we can do this a couple more times. Um, yeah, we can try. Um, <laughs> what the fuck do we tell her? Uh, right now she's wondering, that's where she wants to know, and I'm assuming maybe where, where we're going, which I think is the monastery, right? Yeah. Took a detour, headed back to Talkir and Elkutup. Glad that you're safe. We'll be in touch. Is that too many? I can't count. I think oh I God. think you're good. I think you're good. I think you may have a few more if you really want to send. Um, stay hidden, I guess. Stay low. I think that's a good a good message. Des kind of pulls back in behind his eyes again and closes them and they glow behind his eyelids and again sends that out to Amra. Oh man, another percentage? Yeah, I knew that one was coming. Oh! Thanks, I hate it. 96, sorry, 99. It's either really good or really bad. That That's, yeah. You get the sense that this one does not land so we sit there and we wait and we wait the amount of time that's passed to the previous message landing passes and I kind of give Capri that look of like that I don't I don't think this one made it that's okay thanks for doing that Des I appreciate it we can give it one more, but then I'm... If we have to leave today, you should save it. I know, that's my concern too. Yeah, thanks for trying though. Maybe when we get out of here, we can try again. Let her know where we're at when we get the tuck here. Okay. I'm at gonna, least then I'm give Des a hug. And he kind of like just back and goes, oh, no, it's fine. I don't, I don't mind helping. It's, it's... Thank you. Thank, thank you. She's still hugging you. <laughs> and he's not like saying it like he's ungrateful. It's just like awkward because he doesn't get a lot of affection. Oh. Aww. Well, that would change Aww. if you would talk to Bruegel. Uh huh. Odd. <laughs> <laughs> you just say no I like. I feel like odd is your brand. Like I but feel like no that's involved. There's no like. Take for drinks. There <laughs> could be. There could be. You don't know. You haven't tried. I don't know what this pixie whiskey or whiskey could be like. Maybe there's something to that. Who knows? So, as, yeah, so he like you know rubs her back and gives her a hug back and squeezes. Like we'll try again. Maybe when we get out of the the phase. At least then I'll be confident enough that it'll reach her. So. 
as you're as you're hugging, you see Bruegel like comes around the the uh, tree trunk and just has like one <laughs> eyebrow cocked, looking at you suspiciously. Oh, no, no, Bruegel, is that what you think? We have too much like, common. Does Desmond see her do it? I mean, you've got a a, a passive of nineteen, yeah. Yeah, so like he sees it happen and like kind of slowly does the awkward like turn with Kepri to like what are you, what break are you, icon. What are you doing? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right, let's go get breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, Bruegel, we have too much in common. <laughs> we both like girls. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you all can gather at the breakfast table, and there is like. A friggin' feast going on, and in the middle of the table, there is like a very large um, cake that is, uh, we'll say, wedding cake that is currently being decorated by pixies. They're just like squeezing little, like, uh, we'll say mushrooms, and like a uh, frosting is coming out. Frosting mushrooms. I love the Feywild so much, it has frosting mushrooms. And then you just have, there's two pixies that are sitting on top of the uh, the cake and they're dressed like Newton Harlan. <laughs> busted. Like, immediately busted. <laughs> like, not even a question. <laughs> what, what a weird coincidence. That's strange. <clears throat> well, we're not even there to speak for ourselves, so... <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> hey. I mean, that sounds wonderful. It could be, Jimmy. <laughs> Yes. Uh, what's uh, what's going on, little friends? What's going on? We had a wedding last night. Did you not hear the fireworks? A wedding? Oh, for who? Well, just take a look. They point to the top of the the wedding cake. Uh, I kind of look to Des and raise an eyebrow. Does the same back? It's, I, there it's is a, obviously. <laughs> there, yeah, uh, there is a Pixies dressed as Newton Harlan on top of a wedding cake, and the Pixies just told us that there was a wedding last night. Refer to my previous answer. <laughs> I, what we last I remember is they were going for a walk and then we crashed for the night. What the? What did we miss? The walk escalated quickly. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> This is why don't Zero to, to ten thousand real quick. They ordered a cake and didn't tell us. Harlan knows how much I love dessert. I am offended. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else there? Is Tobias there? Desmond sees it goes, well, that's a thing. You made something new in this. What? Let's address the first what, and then we'll address your what. We don't know. What did you make, and how big of a boom does it make? Yes. Very much so. I mean, I feel like the pixies are dressed like Newton Harlan. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, Ray I'm muted Ray. to the stream again. Yeah. Oh, that's cu curses. I don't know why this keeps Aww. happening. That's really irritating. But, uh, okay, essentially, yeah, Tobias has just walked in with this huge piece of metal, essentially, uh, in between, <laughs> in, like, just looking at it, beaming, and occasionally just, ha ha ha. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> once he's walked in, catches everybody, tilts his head, and you said it's very obviously a wedding cake, so he'll just go, 
That's fucking fantastic! Bruegel, Desmond, congratulations! Oh! <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> we're, we're as confused as you I are. I you're unmuted now so that people could hear that. <laughs> I really hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> I look at the wedding cake again to make sure they're dressed like Newton <clears throat> Harlan, making sure I didn't misconstrue. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, oh, well, maybe, I don't know, maybe that happened too. Apparently, I go to sleep early one night and probably around happens. somewhere around timeline 52. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for the raid. GG2KB. Yay. Thank you, guys. thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Uh, welcome to the shipping episode. We had a wedding. Uh, we crashed the $5,000 threshold. So, uh, Black Lives uh, Matter. Uh, welcome to friends who roll dice and cry on stream and <laughs> support Black Lives Matter and the Trevor Project. We're doing Our loads welcome. of shipping. We have uh, Kepri's Tragic Romance. We have a wedding. We have Desmond and Bruegel just got married. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And uh, <laughs> we're not going to talk about Tobias just yet because that's just... Tobias ships his rifle. That's oh, what he's, he's shipping just, right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Hugging he's shipping the right now. Steel like it's the only love of his life. <laughs> T Tobias is like still just holding this weapon, like looking at everybody, but it's still in his hands. He's just... <laughs> he's so happy. Yeah, exactly. Oh my my precious <laughs> just across the... <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. That Actually, that's the, they don't what Adam it. just did is probably more accurate. Just giving it uh, some taps to wind it. And, like, <laughs> and yes, we're over 5k. Woo! Oh. Uh, yeah, I kind of laugh that off and just go, <laughs> all right, but uh, seriously, what, 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 what the fuck's going on? Okay, this someone here would. Would know, but yeah, at this point, I think you does. I don't know. We all split up at the same time and woke up to this. What the fuck do I know? I've been working on this all night. I can oh. see that. Speaking of which, uh, did you encounter some strange small garden ornaments? What? Kind of t tilt his head. That's not as crazy as it sounds, I promise, but it's the feckin' Feywild. It sounds pretty crazy, but no. Uh, that's a no. Look, these little garden yes. ornaments came up and they started threatening me while I was making my gun. Did you started, eat uh, some talking of the mushroom? About... What did you... Hey, 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 hey. No. <laughs> I don't no. care if these are mushrooms. I, I mean, how late did you stay up working on that thing? Did you sleep yet? Yeah. You, I'm you're slept. pretty tired. I'm slept. I'm fucking fine. My problem currently is the fact that these little garden gnome ornament flamingo Keep things. Gnomes. It doesn't make them real, Tobias. I'm sorry. They came up to me with sickles and they were asking for me blood, and I was like, no. Sure, I ain't gonna and then they gave you some lucky charms and wished you, you had a gun. It popped Look, up. Have you seen what I'm holding? I'll pop it, you in the head right it's now. It's amazing <laughs> what wishes you do. I don't know what these gnomes have promised you, but I think that long night of working on that new toy of yours has gone to your head. I think you're a fucking Egypt, but here we are. <laughs> I heard Egypt, and I was real confused, but I got there. I made the leap. <laughs> just roll, it's just size rolls his eyes. Just uh, okay, but can we focus on? Can we? Can we bring it back? Bring it back. Oi, oi, because apparently don't, this entire place is just fucking crazy. It's a little bit odd. Don't show Harlan that. Just. Not right away. I'm not gonna show it to him. I'm gonna make him shoot and see if he flies backwards. <laughs> oh, okay. Definitely do that. I don't know if I would. Newt might kill you. I haven't fired this thing yet. I don't know how much of a kick it has. Uh, hey, you do That's... raise an excellent point, however. Uh, I know I do. Not well, just we'll... a hat rack. <clears throat> we'll do that away from Newt, perhaps? Because... I still it's have your things I need to fix there. I thought we were doing it's... a wedding, not a funeral. I mean, we could do both. It's all right. I'll hit the. I'll hit him with a death ward before you let him pull the trigger, and he'll be okay. <laughs> no, you might want to do death ward on Tobias. That's probably more. Tomato, accurate. tomato. We'll make sure we all come out of this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
boy. Let's figure out what's going on with this dessert over here. What did we miss? I don't know about you, but Kepri, that looks like who I think it looks like, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so they went for a walk and we crashed and Toby went and got high and talked to gnomes. Tobias. And <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> it's not high. <laughs> and Wait, we so missed you're so a you're wedding, too... apparently? What is th that's what that looks like. You do uh, set it down for the night together. Do you want to make sure that you're not married? Because apparently things no, freaking no. escalate around here. I helped her go to sleep. She said, it's a, anyways, we slept and it was a long night. Um... But yeah, where are they? One of those uh, Talkir one day weddings that you can go to that chapel and pay a little bit and get a totally legitimate marriage certificate from it. Well, where's Rugal? <laughs> like, where's... It's You're her husband. You should be no, able to sell me. No. <sighs> God, I'm too hungover for this. <laughs> the... <sighs> I gesture to the top of the cake. Point. There's a wall in the way, but it's okay. And like Desmond walks over beside Cap and points, like mirroring her arm. <laughs> but it's Newton Harlan on top of the cake. I'll go ahead and like the Will over. Smith, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and wander over, take a look at both, and just be like. I feel like Newt's a bit taller. Apart from that. I Pretty think accurate. the height range on the pixies is a bit. That's not important. Yeah, it's. This is obviously, what right? It's did they? I mean, what well, we're not to scale. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's only one way to find out. Were you at the wedding last night, little friend? We were around. <laughs> at this point, uh. Do Newton Harlan, do y'all walk in? Or are you enjoying a um, blissful morning somewhere else? I would say, I feel like we probably sleep in. That would be my guess. <laughs> and, yeah, and eventually go, oh, oh, we don't, uh, uh, they don't know where we. We did this before. This is the thing that we keep doing to them. No, I'm okay with it. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm okay with it. <laughs> like, really. Yeah, no, I'm just not bothered at all. But, um, I mean, Should if we... I had to weigh the option of doing was... this versus not, I mean... I'm definitely on the doing this side. No, I, no, I, yeah, no, I agree. That, um... As Drac the Visigoth once said, get some. <laughs> <laughs> um, May he live on in our hearts. A true boy. And I kind of just, like, want to stay here forever and, like, not have to deal with any of the rest of it. But um, first of all, I want my pixie dress. Mm. Yep, we and gotta get that. Second, we probably have to go to the monastery soon. We do. We'll stand and give her a little kiss on the forehead, and I'm presuming get dressed. <laughs> yes. Um, same. Where the hell are my um, <laughs> We keep doing that too. Um, a couple of pixies have them just hanging them above the river, <laughs> above the lake. Oh my god, it's a Snow White moment. Just. <sighs> birds bringing your clothes to you do it do the pixies have my dress do the pixies bring me my dress uh yeah we'll say they can they'll, they'll float over and um what does this dress look like well it was sort of kind of like um Bruegel's at the circus ish yeah yeah she's got it was kind it's of like a, not shy a strapless number and a, a little uh a little revealing on the uh, the tummy in the back, and uh, form fitting. And what what color are you looking at? Actually, that's better. But it, when you put it on, um, the color kind of just like goes with your mood right now. So it's like a, a bright blue. It's a little bubbly, and you can you find that you can kind of change the color as you walk around. Oh, cool! I'm gonna go for pink. And then don't work on making it pink. And like slowly but surely, the whole thing just turns uh, a nice pink around you. This is so awesome. Oh my god. This is so cool. Okay. Um, 
I'm not as scared as I was. We can take on the whole damn world. Yeah. We can. Now let's go take on my sister. Oh, yeah, she's part of the world. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. There'll be no problem, and it'll be fine. Definitely. Definitely fine. All good. <clears throat> then we head back. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, new <laughs> walks in like it's the Hunger Games. Fuck yeah! Nice <laughs> 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 <Hi>, Corey. <laughs> nice. You, I tried. The two of you walk in as you see, uh, like Desmond and Capri are like pointing at the top of this cake, and and Tobias is like looking at it. We clearly missed something last night. Oh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, are they? Are those pixies dressed like us? No. I feel like we Why haven't seen they? you guys yet, so this is the perfect time for Capri. Like, but it's dressed like them. They are dressed like them. Like, am I crazy? Like, they're they look exactly like. And I look at the pixie and goes, "Stand down, guy. You guys haven't moved for like hours. Like, just relax." <laughs> but like, okay, <laughs> she would just like not invite me, would she? And I think that's when we walk in. Oh. Why are the pixies dressed like, why are they, are they dressed like us? Harlan, you ordered cake and never told me. I think There's you're cake. missing an important part of the equation oh, the here. pixies, I'm, yeah. Do you like the cake? That is a I fantastic like deflection. I don't, what is it about the cake? I don't get it, I don't get it. But why are they dressed like us? I don't know. Um. For weddings, sometimes there's cake, and they'll put little figures of the people that got married on top of the cake. It's kind of like a way of celebrating it and making it a very public statement. And or in this case, getting outed. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> okay. Top of the morning to you. And the rest of the day to you. <laughs> so sorry, it's so hard to not laugh. Kepri's not laughing. Cole is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that My like, entire I goal just make... just to make you break character. <laughs> <laughs> so is that another dollar for Black Lives Matter? There we can bump it to t- we'll bump it to 12. <laughs> okay, I can handle that. Hey. So uh, how, was, uh, how was your walk last night? It was the best walk ever. Ever. One would say um, eventful. That means a lot happened, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had to go find a flower, and there was, like, a gate, and, like, I solved a puzzle. I what? solved a puzzle. Like that. A flower? A pu- what? Where I solved a puzzle. puzzle. Didn't think it through all the way. Looks like you both solved a puzzle in your own little way. What? Well, no, I did. I was the one. He, he had a key to the door, so it, I was the one who solved the puzzle. I don't. Is Bruegel around during all this? You see, uh, after a moment, they they walk in and they're not making like a big show of coming in, but they go to the the head of the table and sit down. And they're kind of avoiding looking at you, Desmond. Oh, and Newt still has the flower ring around ah. her hand too. <laughs> like, there's like not a lot of hiding. <laughs> So okay, yeah, we did. All right. <clears throat> there we go. That's what we were looking for. Yeah. Well, congratulations. I mean, it was, you know, we already did the thing with the spirits exchange, so it just it was it was just a thing that happened. It was a thing that happened. No, like a really good thing that happened that I'm really glad happened, and I'm not like no, but it was you know, you know it kind of just you guys did your own thing last night, which like totally makes sense. Um, however, how about before we leave, the rest of us celebrate with you? Oh yeah, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Why, why not? That's cool. Because I'm sad that I missed. Because like I wanted to. So, yeah. So let's do that today. Oh, okay. I didn't really know how those things work, so I didn't know if you were. I didn't. I'm. I don't. That's on me. No. I. Uh, that's I, okay. I get it. Focused on that. Yeah, we were Hi. a little distracted. Harlan and Newt sitting in a tree. I just feel like this. Yes, <laughs> I just feel like this is. I think we've celebration. gone a little bit past that point by now, but sure, sure, you carry on Tobias, with that don't. conversation. No, Toby, I think this should go off with a bang. Why don't you let one of those uh, <laughs> that new toy of yours rip, and we'll celebrate this? No, no. Go for the bang. That's really friend. that's the that's really the language you wanted to use there. That's yeah. fine. That's absolutely <laughs> feckin' wonderful. All right. All right. Let's, let's start this for let's start this uh engage this this lovely couple off with a bang. So we already did. What? But... <laughs> yeah, I mean that's you missed that part too, but that's I did not want to be uh privy to that part, <laughs> frankly. I'm okay with missing there. that. For that part. I did not want to be privy to that. It's appropriate. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, drinking? I, Are we drinking this morning? I think we should I, drink. I look to Harlan and I just go. Right. One second. Look to Newt. So, something that usually happens during weddings is stag do's and hen do's. And y'all got neither. Yeah, we call what? them bucking do's. I don't know, I know what, what you're are, talking about. Yeah. What? Actually, even Jen has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so, before the wedding, the. Uh -huh. the uh, the uh, one half will have uh, all of their friends come around and they'll have a right old time without the other half present and then the other half will do the same on a different day and they'll grab all their friends and they just go and have a good time. I feel like we need to do that now. Harlan, I just pass him the rifle. There you go. Haven't shot it yet. Let's go. <laughs> How long is this thing? Oh, it's huge. Yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> He so wraps his arms around her. <laughs> Give it a 10 gauge to, like, to a 12 year old. Just the like front yeah. of it while Harlan holds it like this, and then Tobias holds the rest of it. So it just sort of <laughs> falls on the ground. Why, why would we want to go do things with other pe pe people instead, instead of each other? I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I think. Oh, I don't remember why that was a tradition. I feel like I heard about it though. It's like, uh, I think I've heard to them as referred to as bachelorette and bachelor parties. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. Out of character. Are we talking right now? I, I caught no. on after he described what it was and I was like, oh, okay. Now I know. <laughs> no, that was kept because Newt's confused. So Kepler's okay. like, Newt oh, is confused. <laughs> I've heard it referred to as this. Yeah. And it's like basically celebrating <clears throat> like the what like one last big party before you that's that's not what i'm thinking what they I mean, we get to still have parties right that's not like is that a thing that no. we don't no. Is it? No? okay no like <clears throat> last time being like single i i walk over to newton just say married. single we weren't I, I i walk over to uh newton just say they're they're explaining it very poorly you need a chance to celebrate individually and celebrate together. And that just makes it a little bit more fun and a little bit more exciting. So you can go ahead and uh, celebrate with your group and the people you care about. And then the other person's people and who they care about. And then you come together and have one huge celebration. And then it's even better. See, here's the issue. Is that we're all friends. This is it. <laughs> I, there's not, and make it fun for who? I, okay. I, I don't know what we're supposed to do, Harlan. So you, you probably need to like, I don't, know, I don't know how this works. I'll treat you guys for Bruegel. I want to hang out with Bruegel. No, no, I want Bruegel. You want Bruegel? <laughs> okay, I'll take this. I'll take Des and Bruegel. No, I'll take, I'll take, no, you should, I don't, I, I'll go with Des and Capri. Why, let's just all hang out. Like, what the hell are we doing? Yeah, I think why, it might be it... only fitting if you all hang out since yeah. you'll be marching towards the end together. Oh, why yeah, why separate hard. now? That's that easy. is the worst possible wording you could have feckin' used. 
I could have probably thought so, of something uh, worse. So, how about we get some drinks up in here? Let's get some drinks. Yep. Uh, point to Pixies. Hey, can you show me where drinks are? We're gonna throw a party now. Not the end. Not the end. Not the end. Not the end. Celebrating a new beginning. No, Bruegel. Not the end. Stop talking like that. Not the end. You're, you're right. That was um, presumptuous of me to say. It's, I think you, you all have got a really good chance at it this time around. Hell yeah, we do. It's different. Harlan, you're holding on to that giant gun. Mm -hmm. So I go over to help you and be like, I'm, that looks really heavy, buddy. And I grab the end of the stock and kind of hold to the sky and I give you a wink. I really don't like where this is going and I'm going to be held responsible and Newt's going to beat the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> Harlan looks quizzically at Dez and that Tobias and huh? yeah, fuck it, I'll pull the trigger. In the house! <laughs> <laughs> yes! He's feeling a little invincible right now. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> or. <laughs> Watch you roll a nat one. Yeah. <laughs> Please it's do a... not explode my gun. That thing would not be the... two days to fail. To this would not be the first time Desmond died, so it would be alright. <laughs> oh my god, you're all the worst. How does this work? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna find out. I this guess thing firing fire. with two, because technically it would be double disadvantage because you're also too small. So, <laughs> but I'm helping him hold it. I'm helping him hold it. I'll just go disadvantage. That's fine. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, just, uh, I didn't like that face. Just, hey, that's my face. What the hell? <laughs> no, you made the ooh face. No, nah, it's probably fine. Please uh, roll a four or higher. What did you roll? So I rolled a 19, and then I rolled a 13, and then I'm assuming adding deck, so 17. Oh, oh perfect. <sighs> yeah, you <laughs> have managed to shoot out of a uh, of of an open window where pixies are flying in and out, and you almost clip one. And like they spill some champagne, and Bruegel says, "Easy there, you'll owe me another favor. You don't want to be in my pocket twice. Well, maybe some of you do." Wink. <laughs> Did she say wink or? <laughs> she, <laughs> she said <it> wink. <laughs> said wink. <laughs> don't don't hurt the don't hurt the. Yeah, aim. <clears throat> I go over and mend the window, like. Mm. No, yeah, it's an open window. I think it's fine. No, yeah, I like it's fine. Yeah, probably mend it. <laughs> I go ahead you want, and like, grab it for like Harlan, like smile and be like, right? Oh, it didn't kill me. <laughs> you didn't fly backwards if either. That, if that it might kill you. If, if, if that, why would you do? If you thought it might. Oh, I didn't really think it was going to. Really? Yeah. I feel like I should then... have advantage on insight. <laughs> He's gonna say Harlan, but <laughs> Death looks over at Harlan and goes, "You," and it kind of like gives him like the nod of like, "You did." <laughs> Would it make you feel better if you fired one new? Or would you rather just not be involved? Uh, who do I get to fire it at? Uh, cast you want to fire it at someone? Shoot it at me. I'm a target. A tree. I mean, you asked me if it would make me feel better. I mean, do you want to see me? blood? I know. Or is there just someone in particular you want to hit? Why is is there a gun thing? Is that like a thing with weddings and stuff? Is like gun? gun? No, nope. I don't. I'm so confused. In certain regions, yeah, there's shotgun weddings, but those are pretty quick. Well, this was pretty fast too, I guess. Well, what do gnomes do? We just party. Oh, what? yeah, like we just have the ceremony, and then we party until we can't stand anymore. Why don't we do that? Yep. Instead of like shooting people or pixies and stuff. The pixie thing was an accident. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I like them, so maybe don't. Tobias laughs, uh, (laughs) grabs a couple drinks from the table, puts it into uh, Harlan's hands, and then hands one over to Newt as well while taking the rifle back. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't actually think it was going to kill you. No. Uh, the way the way that I imagine it with the magical ammunition, I've made it like a uh, so it's a one shot rifle. But uh, the way I imagine it, when you pull the bolt back, because uh, it's like bolt action, uh, another uh, like magical bullet reforms there. That's how I imagine it. Let's go ahead and pull the catch. That's fun. Reforms. I kind of take a look at it and just go and scratch it. That's good. <clears throat> go ahead and tie it to my side. All right. So we're fucking partying, are we? Hell yeah. All right. Let's go. I will grab the biggest, uh, <laughs> the biggest drink there. <laughs> Which is like a thimble. wedding and drinking episode. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I'll grab it, but I won't drink it. I'll wait for everybody else to split and then see if I can pull Newt to the side for a second. I'm just staying with Harlan. I'm not splitting anywhere, but you can like ask me to step aside. I'll grab a, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll grab a drink. I'll wander up and just be like, okay, uh, so before we do, I've just seen the name of someone who follows, and that's actually com- really brutal out of context. Uh, someone's uh, someone's wonderful uh, user handle is Rain Survives. Poor Aww. Tobias. <laughs> Rain is Tobias's daughter, so just so you know, who's yes. dead? Who's so dead? Perfect. Is it perfect? I, think is, I mean, awesome. I mean, it would be really nice if that was the case, yeah, but I don't possible. think it is. <laughs> clap if you believe. Clap if you believe. That's not how it works. They're not fairy. You can't just clap them back to life. We're in the Feywild. Yeah, to be We're fair. We're in the Feywild. Happy wild. thoughts. Just happy thoughts. I'll, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll wander over to Newton just like, ah, uh, before we do, go ahead and get, uh, absolutely, uh, well, you know, uh, you mind if we have a word? Just a quick one. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I'll be, I'll be right, I'll be right. I did not. Okay. I'll nod to Harlan. Harlan, let's go get a drink. I'm going to go make Dad hook up with Bruegel. Oh, God, <laughs> how did I start? <laughs> oh, Kepri wants in on that. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what Janassi are suppo- supposed to do for a wedding, but maybe we do punch people in the face. Maybe that's like a thing that we do. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's a new tradition. Yes. Hi. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get straight to the point here. I did not mean to invalidate your experiences, nor to cover up how you were feeling. That was not the intention. What does invalidate mean? When you kind of, uh, when someone says they're feeling something, you go ahead and just completely ignore it. You just kind of Oh, like what you did. Okay. Yes. Now I get it. Exactly. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that in the slightest, and I apologize profusely for doing it. I think you kind of don't think that it's a big deal if we die again. That's kind of what you said, and that really makes me mad. And uh, yeah, you know who wasn't on that mountain? You weren't. Yeah. Yeah, I know. As I say, more than likely, you probably killed me in the forest the other 72 times. I probably wasn't even in the picture. So maybe we didn't fix all of it this time? It wasn't my intention to make it seem like none of you mattered, because that's not true. It's really not. I I have faith in all of you. And I don't believe in the same mumbo-jumbo that Des believes in. 
fate and gods and religion and magic and the only magic I see is the magic that we make. <clears throat> I truly, 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 truly think that as long as you believe you can, you can. I'm talking to you, you directly. She rolls her eyes so big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so big. Just look, can I like, can I tell you two things that I think you should do? Go right ahead. All right. If you like really believe in us and if you really care about us, then stop talking about things that you don't know anything about as if you know things about them. Don't do that because you don't know. You don't know if we need to believe in ourselves. You don't know if we need to, I don't know, I don't know, like eat a bunch of cherries to make this work. Like you don't know. Like I have ideas, like other people have ideas, but we don't really know. So stop. And stop trying to be like, stop trying to be everyone's dad. Stop trying to be more than us or above us or stop. If you're going to fight with us, just be one of us. Don't try to comfort us when we didn't ask for comfort. Just be one of us. Because I can't be who you lost, you know? Just who I am. I know that. Just be scared with us. Tobias kind of just nods. <clears throat> His gaze breaks away for a second. As it comes back. I guess maybe the problem is the fact that I'm not scared. Not for yeah. myself. But I'm scared for you. Stop that shit. Stop that shit. I don't need your, your fear. I don't need that. I don't need you to care about me like that. I'm done with people caring about me like that. Be scared for yourself. Be scared for us. Don't give it to me like it's a gift that I didn't ask for. Don't look down on us that way. Because that's what you're doing. Like when you, you think that you're just treating yourself like you're not worth anything. And I know what that's like. I've seen that before. But you know what that does is that makes you different than everyone, apart from everyone, separate than everyone, kind of above everyone. Stop that. Because if you're not scared for yourself, then I don't want to fight beside you. Another nod. You know, you know what Bruegel said? What Bruegel said is that we were dead inside every other time. We were dead inside. You know who's the most dead inside here in this group is you. So wake the fuck up. Come back to life. Or don't come with us to that mountain. Understood. And apologies again. Find a reason to be alive. That's not other people. I can only promise to try. When I met Harlan, that's what he was like. He was like that. He was like, everybody else is what matters and I don't matter at all. And I know that that's the Harlan that died over and over and over again. And that the reason why he might live is that he decided he had something to live for for him. Do the same. Figure out how before we get to the spine of the world. Okay? All right, Newt. I'm sorry to be a big jerk. And this is like the last time in the world that I want to be a big jerk, but we don't have a lot of time. So that's why I'm telling you this. Just because you're telling someone what they need to hear doesn't make you a jerk. Well, I, I'm also kind of being a jerk because I kind of want to make you feel bad. So there's that part too. But yeah, I don't. Just feel bad for a little bit and then get over yourself, okay? Just fucking get over yourself. Understood. 
I'm gonna go back and be happy now. <laughs> go. Enjoy yourself. I mean, depending on when the ceremony happened, it's technically still your wedding day, so... What counts as a day here? That's a very good question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't... <clears throat> well, in that case, it is still your wedding day. There you go. All right. I will then head back to where everybody else is drinking and come and sit down again. Just kind of give her a little look like... You will slide a drink over to her. <laughs> and I will grab it and drink. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll like relax and get over and be happy again. And at some point I'll be like, oh my God. Okay, so Capri, look, see, like he made, it was like a flower crown. He made like a flower crown, but he made it like a ring. Look, he made, isn't that sweet? Like, that's so cool. Isn't that neat? It's probably not going to survive though, huh? Oh, well. I wonder if there's a way to preserve it in something. Does Desmond hear this? Sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see how generous Adam wants to be with my spells. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, the spare the dying on the flowers. <laughs> no, not spare the dying. What, what is it I'm thinking of? Uh, what is it? Oh, gentle repost, where it stops the decay process. Uh-huh. So as I hear it, I'm gonna walk over and be like, "We might be able to slow that down." And I cast that on the, on the uh, the ring. It won't see any difference, but hopefully it'll last quite a bit longer. Thanks. And she'll give Desmond a hug and a kiss on the cheek. Oh, why is this? <laughs> Thank you, but. She'll grab your shoulders and be like, loosen the fuck up! Okay, no, no, I, I appreciate it. And I'd love, yeah, thank you. And I hope it lasts a lot longer than you expect. And congratulations. You know, you're kind of sweet sometimes. Don't tell Harlan. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm literally oh. standing right next to you. No, I mean, it's where she's what hugging me and it's whispering in her ear. Yeah, I was, I was kind of whispering. <laughs> On the other hand, even though you were there, I'm totally going to be like, oh my God, did you see what Desmond just did? He did it so that the ring can last. It's going to survive. I'm going to have it. I'm going to keep it. Isn't that cool? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that, uh, you know, music fills the room and the pixies are flying in with more food and drinks and... Oh, everybody's having a grand old time, and and then. Well, no, I think that's a good point to leave. Don't off give on. the DM an end, man. <laughs> Sideways. No, I already Ooh. went down that road, but no, this was a great night. So let's just end on the on the happy moment. Yeah, <laughs> we'll stay happy until next time. <laughs> we get to be, we get to we get to leave our characters in like a happy state for two whole weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we did a survive. freeze frame. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The calm before the storm. Des yes. didn't die or get thrown off a camel. <laughs> Eaten off a camel. Like, it, he didn't eat the back of the camel and then he oh, that's right. so that's not really safe. One of them, thrown. yeah. <laughs> you Poor were consumed off a camel. <laughs> Poor Patty. Right. We could bring up bad memories. <laughs> right, right before we fade out, Des, you actually notice, you see uh, these evil look, little gnome-like creatures, um, garden gnome-like creatures with the red hats and the big sickles peering around the corner. <laughs> I don't remember eating any mushrooms once. It's the, I told you, I told you. <laughs> and that's what we went on. <laughs> oh my God. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Birth and same. <laughs> and we passed 5,000 and- Unreal. Okay, so like, if, I don't know, do you have the total, Ray? Uh, I'm about to have the total. Give okay, me two add seconds. 25 from me for the speaking room muted and 12 for Cole. So add 37. That's quick math. It's muted, but there's a drum roll. I was gonna say drum roll, but. Uh, no, this month has been incredible and just like, so much hard work put in, so much love given, and it's been amazing to yeah. um, 
be a part of it. And yeah. I don't know, everyone has been so great. It's hard to really sum it up in a succinct uh, <laughs> sentence. How much from you, Jen? Uh, 25 from me yeah. and 12 from Cole, so 37. Okay. Brings us to $5,067 in total. Oh my Yay. god! Oh. Yay! I can't, I just, oh, I already said it. I so not so. only did we hit 5k, we cleared 5k. Oh. oh my god, so special, so exciting. And like when we started this month, like we had no idea what this was going to be like. This is beautiful and amazing. And 400 was the goal. Let's just, that's yeah. unreal. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, I guess let's go around the horn. I don't have the thing up. So, uh, Ray, can you tell us um, where people can find you? And uh, I, I honestly don't have any like questions. Um, I guess you could just make a statement if you want to. We'll, we'll deal with that. Everybody can make a statement if they want. And if not, just tell Give us. Give us a topic. Uh, How about the monumental goal that was just surpassed? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Sorry to... <laughs> can do. Uh, Henri, you can find me at Bearded Baymax on Twitter. Um, <clears throat> I hang out in our Discord server a whole bunch. Um, you can find me uh, here every Tuesday playing Tobias uh, on the Gods We Know. You can find me uh, every Thursday DMing uh, the Mind and the Martyr with a wonderful cast there too. Um, holy crap. Uh, <laughs> what else do I say about the ridiculously amazing community that we have? Mind is blown completely. Uh, we have all put so much into <clears throat> these shows, this group, and we've been around for two months and we've managed to get some of the best members of the community involved that we ever could have asked for. And I've done, do. I've done most of my blabbing already with the charity stream, so I don't have a lot more to say apart from just thank you so, so much for all the support to the charities, uh, to us, and to each other. Great. Uh, Cole, where can people find you? And yeah, do you have anything to gush about at this past month? Like, <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> Cole, gush? Me? What? No, you can find me on Twitter at Cole Ariel. I do art sometimes. There's probably going to be new art up tonight. Um, uh, uh, the emotion made the the emotion made me cry. Yes, the stream made me cry. Then you guys made me cry more. Um, uh huh. Thank you. Um, we're a two month old baby channel, and we raised five thousand sixty seven dollars for some really great charities. Um, and as a queer person, that that's really that's really great, and I'm really really pr happy and proud to stand with these lovely people and raise money for the people that need it. Um, the queer community stands with our um, our black siblings and everything that's going on, and um, I'm in a very emotional being. We couldn't tell by you hiding under your desk. I literally <laughs> sat on the floor. I literally just sat on the floor. Oh, I didn't people. I didn't know what to do. I just if I had a surrender flag, I just would have been like <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so beyond the green card, we need a white flag for Cole to just hide. I just yeah. It's life alert, help. <laughs> Can't yeah. get up. Send help, please. Um, That's yeah. me. Corey, where can people find you? And um, I guess, yeah, this month. I, that's all I'm just going to say. <laughs> uh, this yeah, this month. Busy. Um, where can you find me? So Ink and Ignorance on most socials, uh, which uh, Twitter, Instagram is my main platform where I do a lot of mini painting. 
Um, got into some cyberpunk stuff lately, doing some Play of the Darkness stuff. Um, yeah, this month has been watching you guys crush this whole charity stream. It's been wild. And sadly, I couldn't join you this weekend because I had a weekend away planned uh, a year ago um, for my birthday. So we were gone all weekend. But um, yeah, I, I checked in here and there and you guys were just killing it. And it's incredible to watch. And like Cole said, we we're a very young stream. And for the community to build like it has and to show up like it has is just heartwarming. It's incredible. So anybody who's still here, thank you. And anybody who listens, thank you. It's been amazing. Well said. Uh, Doug, where can people find you? And uh, yeah, you got anything you want to add? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, signing off. <laughs> bye. Um, you can find me on Discord and on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter at the Doug88. Just as it sounds, yeah, just search for that and you find me. Um, just to add on to what everyone else has kind of already said, uh, there is a lot of not great things that you see in this world. So when you see a group come together in the last month for the way that the folks here who, who are running this channel uh, have and the way that the community has rallied around them and just really built everything up and achieved such a monumental goal in such a short period of time, it's truly astounding. It, Truly, it's inspiring, and you are all absolutely wonderful people, and I'm just proud of every single one of you. So, thank you. Nice. Uh, Jen, where can people find you? And, yeah. This month. This can, month. I say, can I say the source of this, I believe, month fundraiser idea was rooted at you, I believe. I think I, I was like, kind of like, and hey, this won't be a ton of work. Thanks for, <laughs> I know you busted your ass as well as everybody else. So. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you can find me on Thursday um, in the Mind of the Martyr. Um, do we want to talk about Monday, Thursday, thingy, thingy? Ray? Monday, Thursday, thingy, thingy. Oh, yeah. The fact that we're not staying on Thursdays. That's probably a yeah. smart thing we to are, bring up. <laughs> we, are almost, we are almost definitely like 99% moving from Thursday to Monday. Because uh, you might have heard that a really popular D&D &D show is going to be on Thursday nights. And we just want to dodge that. Um, so, yeah. Um, but this Thursday, you will see me on Mind and the Martyr at 6. Um, and I'm actually, Cole and I both are going to be on Other Dock on Sunday at um, 11 Pacific. Um, and it's, kinda, it's like a map building, world building game. So that's going to be really interesting and cool. Um, and, um, that's where you can see me for the most part. I just feel weird that I don't have 50 billion things to announce at the moment because of that, um, this month. Oh, oh, and you can find me on Twitter. Um, I'm Jen Quixote on Discord. I'm, uh, on Twitter, Quixote Jen, Q-U-I-X-O-T-E-J-E-N, one N, not two, up there. Um, and yeah, I just, um, I'm gonna go with the cheesy stuff for a second. I'm gonna like risk being cheesy and say that um, I'm really happy that this happened with this show, that we hit this, because this was kind of the root. This was this, the, the beginning. Um, and I've always said that this is a show um, of players who learn to love each other playing characters who learn to love each other. Um, and God, what a, what a episode for it to happen on too, because that was really a lot of, that was like the culmination of people learning how to love each other. And, um, what we're doing as a larger community, especially as the queer community, um, but in general, um, as, a, as the community in the United States and in the world is learning how to love each other. And I don't mean that in a weak way. Like there's a great quote that I got from Laverne Cox, but I think she got from somebody else. And that is, uh, justice is what love looks like in public. Um, and so showing up for justice and putting what you had out there for justice, um, that's what love looks like in public. And we really do want this to be, you know, a, a place that, that really feels propelled by love um, and to see everybody connect with that and then bring that out into the world in, in a way that is tied to justice is just wonderful. It's just lovely. So what a, what a confluence of, of beautiful things to happen on a day. 
And I got nothing good to say after that. So, uh, <laughs> bye. I didn't even follow that. <laughs> uh, amazing. Uh, I'm Adam Islamis on everything socials. And yeah, this, this group has been amazing. And like we've, I mean, like everyone else, have gone through some like pretty intense times. And it's been one of the shining things that I get to do like every weekend, like just come out here and have a bunch of fun. And had somebody told me I was going to uh, officiate a wedding last <laughs> September, I would have like, no, I'm not. That's not going to be a thing. Uh, but no, like, uh, yeah, very fledgling. And this, this was such like a huge feat to, just come up with they're like oh yeah we're gonna do an original game every not an original game but an indie game every friday and then we're gonna cap off the month with a 16 hour stream let's do it um but it got done and <laughs> with all your help and all the hard work that uh, you all have done and uh thank you after all that i believe we've got a Braid in mind. Yes. So if I don't screw it up, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and that they stay online long enough for us no, to No, I checked them. them. They, they're still they're playing. There. They they're going. Good. All right. So it's Perception they're, Studio. We're, we're going to go through and through. Uh, there, there, there was a nice tweet where it's like, uh, streamers be like, I know a spot, and oh. then raid you to a site that's not up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. Fingers crossed. This isn't the curse of me, so let's give this a go. So we're gonna go and raid perception. All righty. Thank you. Thank you so again. so 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 thank much, you. folks. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep moving forward. Yay! Thanks again, everybody. Route in three, two, one. <laughs>